To more breaking news, federal prosecutors just charged another man, a local man, in connection with the attack on the U.S. Capitol. They released this surveillance photo of him right there, circled in red. It's one of three Capitol attack stories we're tracking. The pink hat lady, a local mom who was also charged, was released today. And the impeachment trial of the former President Trump, who's accused of inciting the attack, also continued today. Now let's turn to Channel 11's Michelle Newell. Michelle, you just got the charging documents on this latest case. What can you tell us about this new suspect and what he's accused of doing during the riot? Well, Lisa, we just learned that Russell Peterson appeared before a judge this afternoon. He is facing a long list of charges, and he was just released on a $10,000 unsecured bond. Now, take a good look at these pictures we obtained of Peterson. These are included in the charging documents. And investigators say you can see him inside the U.S. Capitol among the crowd of rioters. Now, we just learned he was charged with disruptive conduct in the Capitol building, and he is facing seen a number of other charges according to federal court documents. Peterson was allegedly live streaming on Facebook from various rooms inside the Capitol video. Investigators found at least two separate live streams during the riot on Peterson's social media account. We also just learned about a witness who told federal agents that Peterson's mother posted on social media that her son sat in Pelosi's chair. Now there was not a picture of that in the charging documents, but there are pictures, however, of Peterson and his mother in the crowd of protesters, and we blurred his mom because she isn't uh, charged. Peterson's travel, we know, is restricted to Pennsylvania, except for later hearings in Washington, D.C. He is also prohibited from carrying any firearms or having them inside his home. We're following this story very closely, and we'll give you any updates once we learn them. Reporting live. I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.